Hey, welcome back to the channel. So we're at the Botanical Gardens today. We're on a different camera today than I have been. We're on a DJI Action 4. We're gonna test it out a little bit. That other camera, that other 360 camera I had, I just didn't like, it just, the, the picture just wasn't good to me at all, but maybe it's just all action cameras, I don't know. I'm gonna take, bring this one out, run around with it a little bit. I'm gonna talk about my weight loss journey, week 18 results and uh, do a little camera testing while we're at it, but not just a whole lot. So anybody's here for just the weight loss stuff, don't worry, we're not gonna do a whole lot of camera testing. Uh, but just wanna talk a little bit about week 18 and what happened. Uh, weighed in this morning and weighed in at 297.6 pounds. And if you've watched last week's video, that's a gain of two pounds this week. Yes, not super happy about it, but just for a little bit of explanation of what's going on, this past weekend, my daughter had a dance competition down in Dallas, uh, which means I was gone for three solid days, wasn't able to work out. I say I wasn't able to work out, I could have worked out, but it was just pretty hectic, bit, you know, busy, going from place to place. And, you know, I could have worked out, but I didn't. It just didn't really work into my schedule. But if I really, really wanted to, I could have got up like at five o'clock in the morning and worked out or worked out at like nine o'clock at nine or something like that. But, you know, you have to be realistic about things too. So didn't get the workout. As far as the diet goes, I could have done way better on my diet than I did, but you're kind of forced to eat out every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days. And it just happens, life happens. That's the biggest takeaway that I had from this weekend. I could have gone into the weekend and really, really watched my diet like extremely hard, extremely close. But you know, when do I get to go to Dallas? Hardly ever, hardly ever. So we ate out a few places. I ate what I thought were healthy meals. I didn't even finish most of them, but still I gained two pounds. It just took me out of my normal routine. And once you kind of get a normal routine set in, you you know, you don't have to worry. You kind of put your diet on cruise control. But once you break out of your normal routine, that's when things can get kind of iffy, I guess you would say. All you can really do is just do the best you can given the circumstances that you have. And I, th I felt that I did, but obviously it wasn't good enough. But you know, I'm not sweating it. I'm not sweating it. It's so easy when you're on a weight loss journey like this, or maybe any kind of journey, to let that just kind of consume you, you know? It just consume you, like how much weight did I lose? I gotta lose weight, blah, 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 you know, so on and so forth. And next thing you know, that, man, that's all you're really thinking about is how much weight I lost this week and how I'm gonna lose weight next week and you know, it just, it just, it, it can really easily consume you. And I don't think that's a very healthy way to go about it. I think that that's another bad habit that you're developing that I have developed, you know, maybe over the past few weeks on this weight loss journey. Um, so just something to keep in mind going forward that it's, it's the long haul, man. It's the long battle. It's, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, and uh, at some point in there, you're gonna stub your toe, you're gonna slow down, you know, you're gonna have struggles. You just gotta get back on the horse, you know? Just do the best you can. Don't let those setbacks worry you too much. More important than anything, you just have to live life how you want, you know? You just have to live your life. You can't just stop everything and let one particular thing consume you. So yeah, that's my message for this week, I guess you would say. Yeah, you should definitely be taking your weight loss journey seriously. I, I know I am. I am taking it serious as I can, I can be. But don't let it overtake you, you know? Don't let it become the main focal point of your life, you know? And that's so easy to do, but in the end, man, you have to learn how to manage your weight while living your life, you know? It all has to coexist together as in one. and. I think that's the most important thing that I learned this week. But even though I gained two pounds, not too stressed out about it. So I have two more shots of the 7.5 milligrams left. And hopefully by the time I'm done with those shots, I'll be in the 280, in, in the 280s. So that'll be my, my goal for the next two weeks to get in the 289.9. That, that's kind of where I'm, my goal is for the next two weeks. 
Uh, Zetbound's getting harder and harder to find. So I put in my subscription uh, two weeks ago for the 7.5 and it's, you, no, but you can't find it anywhere. And um, so I had to drop down to the five milligram just to be able to get something in. And um, that's what I'm gonna be on for the next month. So I'm going from 7.5 back down to five and uh, we'll see how that goes. Part of me is a little bit scared about that, but part of me is excited because you have to be able to control some of this, you know, on a lesser dosage and hopefully uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think everything will be fine, but hopefully you enjoyed the video today. So get out there and work hard to lose that weight. It's so important that we get to meet our goals, but don't let it overtake your, take your life. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.